Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yao Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. I want us to turn to the book of the prophet Hoshia or Hoshi, depending on how you want to pronounce it, because I ain't gonna lie, I have difficulties wondering how to pronounce it at times. But I will spell it for you. It's um, H O S E A. And I will be doing this um, reading from out of the King James Version. Or she, chapter 4, and just one verse, verse 6. Many people love this verse. They very seldom read all of it, but they do love this um, part I'm going to read, but I will read the whole verse. My people are destroyed for a lack of of knowledge and then many a times they close the book and they continue to go into the, a lesson and they talk about the lack of knowledge maybe paying your tithes giving your first fruit to the church um, you lack knowledge that Jesus is the Son of God um, you lack the understanding that Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice and atonement for sin but you can only come to that conclusion when you are robbing and raping the verse away from its context, out of its place of safety. So let me read the verse in its entirety. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy Elohim, I will also forget thy children. Hallelujah. So we can plainly see from this verse, um, it's not talking about tithes. It's not talking about um, who you believe the Messiah is, who you believe he isn't. It is not talking about giving financially to support the pastor or the church you may attend. It is solely talking about the knowledge that you lack is the understanding and the truth of the Torah. I could even go a step further. The knowledge that you lack, you lack the knowledge of your nationality. Because I hate to tell many of you, your nationality isn't a black Christian. It isn't an Afro-American Christian. It isn't a black Muslim. Those are not nationalities. Your nationality is you are a descendant of Israel. You are a descendant of the people from the book. You have a nationality. And within embracing your nationality, you will discover who your Elohim is. And to give you clarity to what I'm saying when I say Elohim, the, your God, your power. You will know who your God is, who your power is, who your source is once you know who you are. Because too many of our people do not know who they are. And therefore, since they do not know who they are, they do not know who it is they, they are to, um, supposed to embrace as their Elohim, as their power, as their source, as their God. And when you do not know who you are, you do not know who your God is, you do not know your role in the scheme of things. We are a priest unto the nation. We are a priestly nation. We are royal in the eyes of Yehovah. And when I say Yehovah, I'm talking about the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I know you heard me say this many times before. When you look in your English Bible, you will see Lord in all caps when it comes to your reading of your reading in the Old Testament. But when you're in the New Testament, it would just say capital L, lowercase o, RD. But in the Old Testament, it the four letters for Lord is all uppercase. And when you see that, that is referring to the creator. His name is there 
in the Hebrew manuscripts. So it's not talking about a Messiah. It's not talking about a son of God. It's literally talking about the creator himself, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the source, the power of our fathers. Hallelujah. But let me get back to this thing that we must understand. The knowledge that we are lacking, the overall knowledge that we are lacking is we do not know that our creator gave us a Torah. He gave us a divine teaching that he wants us to live according to. So it's one thing to embrace your nationality, but if you still deny Torah, you're still lost. Because being aware of your nationality will not save you. Because you could embrace your nationality and say you're Israel, but, stir, but still serve another God. You could say you're Israel and embrace the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but still embrace a teaching that is completely foreign to that which the Creator gave our ancestors, which was also being given to us even though we were not around. So my brothers and my sisters, we lack much knowledge, but the knowledge here, the knowledge that we have rejected, the knowledge that we have forgotten is the Torah, the divine teachings and instruction of God. I know some of you have been saying Torah. When you see law here in this verse, it's speaking of the Torah, that which was given to Moses to give to our ancestors. And as I said before, that which was given to our ancestors will also be in hand down to us, even though we were not there. So my brothers and my sisters, we cannot continue to lack knowledge. If you're tired of being destroyed, you have to become wise. You have to operate in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Torah. You have to operate in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of who your power is, is who your Elohim is. And when you know who he is, when you know who you are, you will know what he requires of you. And that is to fear him and to keep his commandments. So my brothers and my sisters, please hear me. When you read Verse 6 again. Hoshea. Hoshea. Chapter 4 and verse 6. Get an understanding. And embrace what is there. Because it doesn't say this. Because some people read it and this is actually what they see in it or what they believe about it. This is how they perceive it. My people are destroyed because they have not accepted the knowledge of of Jesus because they have rejected his blood I will therefore reject them and they will no longer be my children seeing that they have rejected the son of God I will therefore reject, um, reject and forget their children because they forgot my son Jesus it doesn't say that it doesn't hint to it it says what it says and we as a people must embrace what the word of God says. Many people love to say, whose report will we believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. This is the report of Jehovah. This is his report. So why are you not believing it? Why are you inserting concepts that is not there? Why are you inserting something that's not mentioned? That's all I wanted to say on this. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben-Levy. Shalom, love, and blessings. Till next time.